Welcome back. This guy is uh, speaking to us. And it seems that the more we listen to him, the more we understand. We can't quite understand uh, everything, but uh, let's just listen some more then. It's pretty obvious actually that you do that, because normally you don't get these uh, action options, only the uh, dialogue options. Now you have allowed the magic to enter your heart, and the knowledge of all tongue, ever present but dormant to guide your ears and your tongue. I... I understand you. You speak English? Why didn't you just tell me straight away? <laughs> no, child. I do not speak English. I speak Naven, all tongue, the common language of Arcadia. Arcadia? Wait a second. How did I get here? What is this place and who the hell are you? Oh, my manners have abandoned me yet again. I'm afraid my preoccupation with ancient texts and the company of my fellow fathers have left me unequipped with the grace of social intercourse. Meaning what? That I have been rude. My name, dear child, is Tobias Grensret, and I am the Vestrum of the Sentinel, the Order of the Balance. We are the fathers. Ah. Uh... Okay. I'm April. April Ryan. I take it this is your first shift, your first passage through the Divide? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I guess this is my first shift. I just... Then I will explain everything. Finally! You must. You are without guidance. Without a mentor? Mentor? There's this guy, Cortez. He assisted me, told me about magic and truth and dreams and portals. Crazy stuff. Well, it seemed crazy at the time, although now I don't... Cortez? Ah, yes, Cortez. Very good, very good. Then come, let us proceed. Let me show you Mercuria, the grandest city of all ages. Curia. Oh, I'm very curious to see what he has to show us. Black and white light. Impressive. Explore Marcuria, April. See the sights, meet the people, and then, when you are ready, return to the temple. I will answer whatever questions you may have then. Ooh, we have a new diary entry. Well, let's read that. In Arcadia. Is it still Saturday? Do they even have Saturdays here? And why am I not screaming and frothing and tearing my hair out when I'm obviously should be? When confronted with the impossible, isn't your mind supposed to just snap? Perhaps because I've had so many vivid dreams about... Okay, now I don't even know if dreams is the right word anymore. Visions, perhaps. Or even better, premonitions. That's in keeping with the theme of this place. Magic. Oh yeah, magic. Apparently, I'm simply supposed to accept, without question, that magic does exist. Which is impossible. But clearly not impossible enough, because here, there is magic. Wherever here is. Read more on the next page. Still, in the face of all this strangeness, I feel normal. For some weird, inexplicable reason, and even though I've still wrapped my head around the concept, I accept this place. It feels comfortingly familiar in a distant, hazy way. And even though I want to go home, like right now, I'm not panicky. Not at all. Well, 
just a little bit. Oh, and I should write that name down before I forget it, Brian Westhouse. That's the last thing Cortez told me, to visit Brian Westhouse whenever I wanted to go home. Well, it seems that we are in a city called Mercuria, which is in uh, a place called Arcadia. And it's definitely nothing like Newport, that's for sure. Looks pretty nice in a medieval sort of way. The whole fountain's been carved in one piece from a granite-like material. Very impressive. It looks pretty interesting. Not much we can look at from here. But you could look at the stalls, but apparently not. And go to the stalls. Are they fighting? Okay. What do we have here? A dancer. In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. And it's pretty darn good. Okay. A cup's handler. Merchants and a bird. What a sorry looking bird. Hey, you don't look too polished yourself, huh? lady. Oops, I didn't know you could talk. Didn't look as if you could talk either. It's a bird. It's a sassy bird. It's a talking bird. Well, that's not something you see every day. It's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. Try talking to him. Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! Let's uh, ask him some questions about this place where we are, because, well, we don't really know anything. Except that it's called uh, Mercuria or Arcadia. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick. Let's ask him about uh, Tobias, the guy we just uh, we just met. What do you know about Vestrum Tobias? Vestrum Tobias, eh? The high priest of the Sentinel himself. Did you know they call themselves the Fathers? What a joke. When was the last time they did anything for us, the people? No. They are only interested in sticking with their outdated customs and keeping their secrets under lock. I'm getting more and more inclined to listen to these new people, the Vanguard. Their ideas appeal to me. They may be radical, but we're past due for a change. Only thing I don't wholly approve of is their alliance with the Tyrant. Filthy, dangerous people. But the Vanguard seem to have them under control, so I'm not too worried. I wish they wouldn't allow them into the city, though. Hmm. Seems that uh, support amongst the people for the fathers is not wholly unanimous. How do you get along with your neighbor? The maps merchant? We've faced each other for six years now, every single day, and he never speaks a word to me except to insult me. Nose high in the sky, calls me a charlatan, as if he's the guardian himself. You know good oversized bag of wind? Okay, well this is a bit strange actually, because the next question is about Stark. And as far as I can recall, the word Stark hasn't been mentioned yet, so maybe you are supposed to talk to uh, Tobias before asking that question. Because uh, Stark, we don't actually know what it is yet, so how could we be asking that question? So in the interest of uh, keeping things logical, I'm not actually going to ask that question yet. 
I think it's a bit of a game flaw that you can ask it now, but anyway. Um, I should uh, end this video here and continue in the next one.